Hey guys, it's me, Jeanette. Just wanted to come on here and do an update on um, my Bell's palsy uh, journey to recovery. Um, it's been a month, a week, and a couple of days um, since I woke up with Bell's palsy. I woke up with it on the 24th of December. And I'm here to tell you that I'm about 95% mm, um, healed. The first two weeks, uh, actually like the first two and a half weeks, I didn't have any movement. My paralyzed side is my my left side, which would be your right. Um, I didn't have any movement except for um, blinking and closing my eyes. I couldn't close my eye all the way, so sleeping was a bit of a problem because I'd wake up with my eye really dry. So I had to put um, drops and gel in my eye at night. Um, so my good side is this side, it is much fuller, and actually I have like this line or this wrinkle here and this wrinkle here that shows up more on this side than it does on this side, which is kind of crazy because, I mean, I don't want wrinkles, <laughs> but anyway, um, every morning when I wake up, still in bed, I do fishy lips or, or kissy lips, I do this. Because then I know I can feel it. I, every time I do that, I can feel it, that I still have it. So every morning I wake up doing that, hoping that it's going to feel normal. But still to this day, I still kind of feel it. Um, this side of my mouth is a lot thinner. This side, if you if you really pay attention and, and, and look, which it's really hard to tell, um, it's a lot fuller. And when I'm talking, it almost looks like it's being pulled this way, which is kind of weird because this is this is the good side and this is the bad side. So this side is just thinner. So I do this. This it's just uh, my lips cramping. It's just fuller, and I can feel it. I can feel that it's um. I still have healing to do on that side. <clears throat> so I do that. Um, smiling. So I have my smile back, um, nose flares, the um, right side is, is fuller, um, and you can't even really tell, but it's, I mean it's me, and so I, I know, um, squinching my nose, so both sides are moving, I have movement, um, blinking, Before the blinking was, um, they weren't, it wasn't in sync. Closing my eyes all the way. Before when I would do this, I had like a little pocket that was still open right here and you could see my eyeball. Um, and I don't, I'm not, I don't know if you can see it now, but, um, just closing my eyes all the way. Just relax, closing my eyes. And this is me like sque squinching my eyes closed, but anyways. This is normally just closing my eyes comfortably. Um, raising my eyebrows. I didn't have any movement on this side. And this eyebrow, funny enough, has always been higher than this eyebrow. But this is me raising my eyebrows. Um, doing this. I still have a lot more muscle movement than I do on this side, but... I mean, not, not very much. I would say um, I'm 95% healed. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm almost 100% healed. Um, looking at my face and the shape of my face, I can, I can see a difference. Like in my cheeks, my big old cheeks, I can see it different here than, I, than it does look here. Um, but if you didn't know me and you just met me and you were talking to me you would never know um, so I healed fairly quickly um, first two and a half weeks there was nothing and then I started to get twitching on my uh, under my lip here and under my eye and I was really excited because that was the nerve and I'm like I was just excited and um, I knew that the nerve was 
slowly coming back. I was hopeful that it was working. I mean, that it was healing. Um, so yeah, I'm almost completely, I'm almost completely back to normal. Um, for those of you who have Bell's palsy and maybe looking at this video, I know that it can be, um, it can be tough. Uh, you may have a long road ahead of you. Some people don't heal as quickly um, as I did. Um, unfortunately, I wish everybody can heal quick, but it's not so in some cases. So you may have a long road ahead of you. Um, it's very depressing. It's very sad. I believe me, I know, because it's your face. And, you know, it's it's what everybody sees. You know, everybody's looking at your at you and your face, you know. That's how you express yourself, through your face. And I had a really hard time smiling and um, laughing, even just like letting out a little giggle for things. Because as soon as I laughed or as soon as I giggled or as soon as I what, let out uh, a laugh, I was instantly reminded, not that you ever forget, but you're, you're just instantly reminded because you feel the pulling in your face. And I immediately would make myself stop dead in the middle of smiling and dead in the middle of laughing. I would make myself stop or I would cover my, my paralyzed side with my, with my hand. Or just like lay my hand on my cheek and just rest it, like trying not to be obvious that I was covering my face. Um, and it's really sad that you can't enjoy smiling and that you can't enjoy laughing. Um, I do want to let you know that your friends and your family, it doesn't matter to them. And for people that it may matter to, should it matter to you? They shouldn't be part of your life if that matters to them. That's just me. That's just my opinion. Um... So I really hope that if you do have Bell's palsy, that you have a speedy recovery. Um, just be patient, and that's pretty much all you can do. I do also want to say not to stress out, um, because stress is a big factor in why people get Bell's palsy a lot of the time. So I used to just tell myself that I wasn't going to stress over things that I had no control over. And I also told myself that it could have been a lot worse. Um... I had a, a small house fire in my room and it scared it scared me so bad because I never in my life thought I'd have to yell fire 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 you know 5 8 5 30 um, it was before 6 a.m. in the morning and luckily I was awake when it when it happened so we were able to you know get get it under control fairly quickly but my house filled up with smoke there was a moment of, of panic there for, for a few moments. And I looked around and I said to myself, what do I want to save? save? And um, so when faced with, with a situation like that where we could have had our home burned down to, to nothing, having Bell's palsy is, is, not, is not as bad. It's not, it could be worse is what I'm trying to say. So... Um, you just have to look at the silver lining and try and find a silver lining in everything. Try not to stress over things you have no control over. Tell yourself that you're just going to let nature do its course and heal you on its own on its own time. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, surround yourself with positive people, um, family, things like that. Um, but other than that, I do want to thank you for coming along this journey with me and listening to me as I vent and rant about myself. Um, if you're not already, please subscribe and I'll show up in your feed next time I upload a video. Um, I do plan on, on continuing to, to vlog different things um, here and there. I have some ideas and projects um, that I have in mind for future. But anyhow, um, again, thank you for coming along. Thank you for all your kind words and all your support to all my friends and family. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye.